I auditioned for the part two times, and we hit it off with Randy, the director, right off the bat. I, he just, uh, I think we, I got what he wanted, and uh, he got what I wanted as far as trying to portray the character. And uh, so it, it was a good start, and then we worked together on the material constantly until we started filming, so it was a good working relationship. Uh, I prepared for the role by uh, tapping into some of my own experiences with war and conflict in the Middle East. For example, uh, when I lived in Iran and I was six years old, every night Saddam would drop bombs on our homes. Every night. For six years. Um, and it was Russian roulette. You didn't know, am I going to die tonight, am I not? So that really affected me, um, even to this day. It creates a lot of anger, anxiety inside you. And I felt that was channeled into the characters' uh, pains when it came to the effects of warfare and conflict that he carries with him. Uh, I related to his, to his pain as far as vi witnessing ugliness. Uh, I modeled my character after family members and friends who either died during the war or were parts of uh, civil rights protests across the Middle East and uh, those characters in my own life and my own experiences I think were uh, very useful in showing this character's trauma as it came to his interrogation of protesters especially young protesters and his pains of uh, losing family members to conflict I don't even label the, the work I do as terrorist roles. I actually find that offensive when someone says, you do terrorist roles. Um, I think the roles we do are roles within a conflict. And if through doing roles like this, where sh it shows the conflict, then we could talk about it like we're talking about it now, open it up, and um, really try to understand how we got here. Well, a uh, favorite movie, I would say, was Rocky because it was one of the only dubbed movies that you could find in Iran at the time and we watched it over and over and over, we watched maybe, maybe a thousand times, I mean twice a day sometimes. My favorite actors, um, as a kid I would relate to, like everybody else, people who look like me, so I was always drawn to Italian American actors, I, you know, whether it was Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, or Marlon Brando. So my sister alone, I, uh, you know, you always want to see yourself in these characters. So I would uh, gravitate toward them, and the Italian culture is very similar to the Iranian culture. It's very bombastic, it's uh, family-oriented, matriarchy, all that. So I uh, really related to, and they're great actors. <laughs> my other interest, I write sometimes for journals and publications. I write about the U.S. Middle East conflict. And um, I've been doing that for about seven years now. Mm -hmm. uh, my stuff has been published in the LA Times, in the Huffington Post, in the Hill. Um, so yes.